Okay guys, today we're going to we got a little project going. We're going to start some seeds indoors. I've got tomato seeds, three different types. We're going to start those and a couple other kinds of seeds. So what I'm going to make is a kind of like a grow light stand. I've got these uh, daylight. It's a shop light but it has daylight LEDs so they're like the color of the sun big old shop light like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a stand that will hold the shop light up and that way I can have my shop light right above the seeds and I got these peat pots we're going to start the seeds in so I already cut some wood and here's the shop light. Let's see here. It's still hooked on there. I'll show you what I got so far. I got a two by two. Piece of two by two. So I can see that. And these are chains that come with the light. And the hooks that come with them and so it's gonna be like that it's gonna be elevated and what you want to do is run your grow light just about an inch or two above your plants so they get really strong light and make sure you use a light that simulates sunlight it's kind of close like a 5,000 Kelvin something like that and so I've got that one top piece cut and I'm just going to make something simple like this here. There's a little drawing. You know, the legs, side rails, and a pull across and then the light will be hanging above it. And maybe put a little angle brace in there to help support it. We'll see. Right now so I cut that top board to a little over four feet, this one here, and then these are the sides. What I did is I measured how long that chain is and how far above I want it, to above my plants, uh, taking into account the height of these peat pots, and I came up with a side of 22 inches side supports and because there's on a chain you can raise it and lower it or you can put your plants up on a box or something to if you want to get them closer and there's the foots which is turned out to be 12 inches so we're going to put this together and I'll show you what it looks like I've also got uh, what I've been using a uh, I'm going to use three inch screws, just a regular old drywall screws. Put it all together. And before I put the screws in, because this is some soft pine, I got a couple drill bits. I'm going to pre drill the holes. I'll put this all together now. So I marked the uh, these are the feet. I'm going to mark the centers of the feet like that and then your uh, side rail is going to go on like that so that it's an equal length there. I'm just going to put one screw up in there. I'm going to pre-drill the holes and then put a screw into it. Cool. Okay, I got my holes all pre-drilled. I'm just going to put these long screws in. That's going to be plenty to hold this together. So these lights don't really weigh a whole lot. Okay guys, this is how far I got with the light stand so far. 
So it was a one foot section for the bottom, 22 for the sides, and a little over four foot for the top piece. Now if you want to stiffen this up, you can also put another long piece like this from one foot to the other foot, maybe on both ends of that. What I'm going to do, I cut some uh, small pieces with my miter box, put a 90 degree on them, and I'm going to put a little bracing in here, like that there, to stiffen it up. And I may have to go look for some more wood outside, see if I got more. I may put another piece across there, like that, all the way across to uh, stiffen it up a little bit. Or you could put another piece in here, depending on the height you want to keep your light at. The good thing about this is it has a chain, so you can. Uh, you can just raise and lower the, the light with the chain. And that's the way it comes from Walmart. That light like that. And it's a 5000K LED. And so I'm gonna, all I need is a plastic tray to put these pots in. I'm gonna, I've got some potting soil here. I'm gonna mix that up. Put them in uh, peat pots and put plastic tray under here, like a dish pan or something, and then I'm going to start my seeds. And you want to run your lights for about 16 hours a day. So you can put those on a timer, and uh, after the germination date, you'll have to look at your seeds, whatever you're trying to start, and they've got a general guide on the back usually, tells you how long germination, and like your your climate zones all marked there on a map. So there you go guys, a simple little project. Uh, get your seeds started for summer and enjoy your plants. Alright guys, here we are uh, about two weeks later. This is when I put in all the seeds. And it looks like most of the seeds have germinated. Uh, the ones, the uh, peppers are just starting to come up. See one there, and so light stand is working out really good. We've got uh, watermelons here, pumpkins. Here's two different kinds of tomato plants. Here is another type of tomato plant. The green peppers, and these are some sunflowers. And the plants are looking nice and healthy and stocky. They're not all leggy looking. Like in the past when I started plants, I would put them just like by the patio door here on a, and the natural light would get to them. This is working out a lot better. The plants look healthier because they get 16 hours of light off of this LED light here. And... Uh, I got on a timer back here for 16 hours. So I got plenty of room. I can, uh, when the plants get a little taller, I'm gonna take out one of these shelving boards and then keep on doing that until the plants are a certain height, then we're gonna put them in the garden. But the uh, stand I made for the light is working out really good. This is better than uh, putting them in the window because they get more consistent light. Alright guys, if you're interested in making one of these, it was real simple to make. I used 2x2, two two, as I showed earlier in the video, and I braced it here on the corners. And then you got your chain where you can adjust it up and down.